It is day two here on the Disney Fantasy. There is Michael's leg, and we are off to grab some breakfast. Just got up, got changed. It's around, what time is it? Uh, seven, eight, almost eight o'clock. It is almost eight o'clock, and we're gonna grab some food, and we're gonna maybe get some pictures, and then we're gonna get ready for our real brunch with Remy. Woo. Let's do it. We've got ourselves a light breakfast here to get started. Just a little bit of different meat here, some potato stuff, this little triangular potato, hash browns, hash browns is what they call it. And pancakes, that kind of thing. Let's see how it goes. Guava juice, got Yum. that guava juice. Finished up breakfast at Cabana's walking up the stairs. It was a great view, really enjoyed the sights at cabanas i feel like that's the best part mike what do you think oh i love those yeah. views great snack as well we walked by remy and paulo as we're walking up here for uh for our brunch later and we're heading out to this balcony oops how do i open it there you go ah for our uh, mini golf look at that check out some mini golf that's gonna be fun for sure Ooh, look at all this stuff teeing up for my first golf putt here so we can beat mike nice and easy no problem Got the uh, golf ball right down there. You can see the course ahead of us. It's a uh, it's a little bit windy, so uh, we'll see if that impacts or impacts or affects our game. Let's give it a shot. First hit, you can see I landed pretty close to the uh, to the goal here, and you can see Mike's ball back there. <laughs> it's pretty close to where we started. You, you you still got this, Mike. Let's keep in mind Mike's the uh, the actual golfer here. So okay. Turn two. Oops. That's a good shot. Close. Oh, so close. So close. Oh my god. Ooh. Come on. Very oh. close. On hole number one, after a series of unfortunate events, I got a hole in five. Mike got four. He's in the lead. Ooh. Here we go. We got this. Shots. I'm trying to suggest that I go this way. I don't think that's going to happen. And my shot went into the lawnmower area, that little metal part right here. So we are using the one rule. Sit on the outside. Now Mike's going for it. Way up there. Oops, close. Very close. Uh. Dave is in on turn two. Let's see what Mike's got. Nice. That was three. That was three, and now we are tied. Now we are tied, wow, all right. Full score, and I have caught back up. 11 to 11? 11 to 11. All right. All right, shot one on this new course. I have made it to pretty pretty close to the goal over there in that watery area. Let's see what Mike's got. Ooh. As you can tell, my golf is all luck. Got a couple of bad bounces on that last one. Mike's ahead of me by one again. I got four, he got three. Let's see what this course might hold. Looks like a fun one with the castle going on. Let's give it a shot. Where'd it go? It's behind the shovel. Behind the shovel? Mike's bringing in that skill right here. Oh, close, close. And I'm over there. I'm gonna go get that second shot going. Mike's on two. This is gonna be number two for me. Let's do it. Boom! Three! 
Mike's going in for it. Oh, Four. nice. And we are Five caught up again. Caught up again. Falls for our halftime report. The score is 18 to 18 with three holes left. Mike, how are you feeling so far? I'm feeling confident that I'm going to beat you on this round. That's how confident. I definitely feel like Mike has the true skill at golfing where the luck is what takes me through to get the occasional victory. But we're, we're split right now. Mini golf know, so. is a combination, you know, it's just dexterity and agility and a lot of fun. Sounds good, sounds good. Definitely gonna keep it going. Three more holes, some exciting ones ahead. I've seen some cool ones around the corner you haven't seen yet. Ooh. Oh, when I went yeah, to find right. that trash can. So we'll see what Mike thinks these holes coming up, but uh, three more to go. Let's get it started. And here is the next one. Cannonballs with goofy like castle going on sort of thing. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Turn one, Dave goes up and along to that route. You'll see it on the other side in a second. Let's see how Mike does here. A better angle. Maybe you can see my golf ball way over there. Yep, you can see it. Here goes Mike. Oh my go. Hole in two. Hole in two. Mike's going for shot number two right now. About halfway down the field by that castle over there. Let's see how it looks. And Mike went out of bounds. This three, right? And this is turn three for Mike. Let him have it. Oops. Oops. Okay, still in bounce. Go Shadow Mike. Go Shadow Mike. It's four, right? Turn four. Oh, almost so close. Co-op style. Nice, on turn five. I think that puts me a comfortable three points ahead. Here. So that feels, that feels pretty good. Pretty good, but we'll see. Keep it going. Go Mike, go. There he is. Oh. Take it. I'll take it. Shot number two. Nice shot number two. two. Got it. Try one-handed. Counts. No. Doesn't count. Oh yes. That one-handed score right there. Love it. Nice. Two and two on that one. Keeping me three points ahead on the final hole, number nine, the kitchen sink. Oh my go. Oops. Oh. And he's in the backyard with me. <laughs> I had one job. I had one job. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Uh. Go back down. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we won! GG Mike. It took us both eight turns to get that last one. That was a tough one. But we had fun with it. And we'll try again later. And it was a good game. Yeah. Checking out the simulators here. We've got golfing simulator on this side and the baseball simulator over here. Both look really, really cool. I like it. Very cool to see Goofy Sports Simulator the merger of video games and sports. Now, I'm wondering how similar that is to the NBA experience. Maybe. Maybe. Except this one has Goofy, so there's something to be said for the uh, the character interaction on this one. Mike first date in basketball? Oh, let's, let's try it.
became a horse. I got to go. You got to goofy. Was it fun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely a good way to get your exercise in. Play some games. Just Rematch have fun. later. Rematch later. I can't say that either of us are pros here, but it's fun. Yeah. So worth doing. That's what Disney Cruise is all about. Fun. We are here at Cove Cafe, just sitting back, relaxing after the fun game of basketball, looking at grabbing some snacks. Mm. Gonna grab some snacks, so those might be delicious. Maybe see Buzz Lightyear later. See what our options are, but just kind of kicking back, relaxing. You know, brunch is still on the way as well, so lots to be excited for. But love's just taking the time and, you know, looking at the environment and just kicking back, you know, taking a breather. How's it feel, Mike? Fantastic. Love it. That's vacation, like real vacation. We talked about the pumpkins on the windows downstairs, but did you see the spider webs on these windows? Spooky! We checked out the snacks at Cove Cafe, but decided to save our appetite for brunch coming up. And we dropped by that picture with Buzz, but thought the line was a little bit long. Now we're checking our room to see if we can maybe change to get ready to go. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Or nap. We are here in Pusits and Wetsits checking out some merchandise. Lots of pirate stuff in here, some sunscreen over there, all kinds of sunburn stuff as well. <laughs> so they're ready for people who weren't quite as ready for the sun. Nice to be able to come in here, check it all out. And these cases have some cool stuff too. A little bit of gold, some doubloons, the hearty. We are off to Remy here momentarily, about to get changed for it. Super formal dress code. Let's see that transformation. I don't think I have a suit. But you know, uh, Mike has two. Ah, uh, okay. So, there uh, we go. Music. <laughs> I only wear PJs. Right, to Remy. Okay, that, to Remy. they'll accept exactly. that, no problem. They said it's fine. They said mm -hmm. it's fine if I wear PJs. Mm -hmm. They said that's fine. We'll see you on the other side. We are all dressed up for Remy, possibly the most formal you'll ever see me. Maybe not. Nah, we'll see. Maybe we'll go back to Remy. We'll see how good it is. But ready to go for a transformation complete. Woo! Ready for it? Yes. Let's do it. Enjoying the fancy establishments. Fancy. Oh, yes. Very nice looking chairs here. Nice looking stuff. Nice looking bar. Nice looking mic right there. Ah, thank you. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. Just finished eating at Remy for brunch and we were wowed. We were wowed <laughs> by not amazement. <laughs> so, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We did not love the food at Remy. It was very unique, very different, and nothing we loved there. Mike's saying Paolo is a million times better. Um, I, I prefer a lot of the dinner options we've had. I'm yes. really looking forward yes. to the Ahi Tuna Tower tonight. Yes. So, unfortunately, we were wowed by expecting more than we wound up getting in terms of food quality. But, uh, you know, we'll have to keep trying things and, you know, you might, you might, you know, you might want to try some new, unique, unique food items, but uh, definitely cannot recommend, especially for the price, uh, Remy on the cruise. And you, Mike? I fully agree with that. Go to Palo. Give Paolo a try. Paolo was leaps and bounds and a hundred times better. And unfortunately, and this hurts me to say, there, there's some, the table service around the ship, the included table service, is better than what we just had. Yeah. That was the most shocking part of this whole experience. Food wise. Food wise. Food wise. It's, it's all about the food we're talking about here, too. Atmosphere. It was a great experience. Atmosphere is amazing. Great service, great views. But the food, skip it. Just, just bring a little burger, set up chairs on the deck, I don't know and uh, you can enjoy the same views. You have to do your own weight service, but, uh, but the food will be good. <laughs> so we have changed from Remy. Overall, again, the view was really nice. Mm -hmm. If you like a fancy experience, you know, lots of nice customer service. It was pretty nice, great server, but the food was definitely not our favorite. Now we have changed up and we're ready to hit the pools. Gonna get some pool time in. Gonna get some chip it in golf. That'll be nice for sure. And I'm gonna switch out to the GoPro. So hopefully all the audio on there works okay. 
And if not, then we'll see you when we come back to this thing. See you in a second. Downstairs, Mike and I were talking about how crowded it would be up here. And you can see the hot tub is somewhat crowded, but the pool is definitely super duper crowded. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Relaxing here by one of these family areas. We found some seating space. It is a little bit crowded here. We are taking some time to kick back and relax. You know, enjoy it all. There's some music playing behind us back there, musician back there. I don't know if you saw him. Looks like there's another uh, little pool type thing going on over here, so maybe some more stuff we'll check out. We'll, we'll, we'll see. There's, there's so much to check out, so. favorite spots on the ship. Check out this view from the hot tub of which we have our own right now. Oh yeah, love it. Awesome, awesome view out there. You can see into the distance of the sea. Still haven't actually looked at those portholes next to the hot tub. Remember, there's this glass part here right beneath us which you can see through. But uh, we'll still have to check the one outside of the hot tub here. See what things look like out there, but it's nice to be able to sit back and relax. Again, one of my favorite spots to be able to do just that. Maybe in the next ships, they'll build more pools and hot tubs on the edge of the ship. That'd be awesome. Pretty much up against the glass, not quite, but a really, really nice view from here. You can see all kinds of fantastic stuff in clouds and the ocean. <laughs> Love it. Great, great spot. This is a this is a first horse kicking back here, looking up at the sky. Can't even see the water from here, but we can see some other water. Aqua duck water. This is a pretty. It is a pretty cool view of the ship. You know, got a nice view of the tower over there. Two sides of the aqua duck. You know, maybe a quarter of. I can't even see what you're looking at now behind us. But uh, all kinds of cool stuff to see here. Nice spot to just kick back, relax, and uh, you know, chill. I was just telling Mike that I'm not even going to eat ice cream right now because I'm so excited for one of my favorite. All time tonight, the Avi Tuna Tower for dinner. Definitely gonna get a double order of that. So, so good, such a good one. Mike, are you excited for that one? Very excited, one of my all time favorites. Can't wait for it. Can you think of anything better? Parmesan chicken at Paolo. Oh, so right after Paolo, that sounds like it's the best dinner that we've had. So. I'm looking forward to getting some more of that one. So, so good. Probably have some snacks between now and then, but uh, definitely love that one for sure. Right Time now, friends, come over here. Come here over we here. go. We are ready for cheapy golf, all right? Basically, this is how it's going to work. We have three rounds here. We have the normal points, we have the opposite points, and we have the double points. And what was that? Yes, that's the question. All right, man, here we go. Three, two, one, hit it. He's just warming up. Three, two, one. One point, perfect. You are good. Three, two, one, go. It's warming up. Oh. It went out of the field, but it's okay. We're calling right now Crystal. Under sticks over there. He just played because he wants to play. Perfect. Mine, you got it. Did you guys see that? That fall into five. I'm sorry, Mike. It's my was... <laughs> Okay, so it's a matter of five in waffles. What do you say? Shall we give it a minus five or a minus one? Minus one. Perfect. We have crystal. <laughs> He 
He hit the grass. Oh. Here we go. Focus, Davis. Oh! Perfect! Those are the aim points for you, Dan. Damn! Perfect! We have Crystal. Very impressive. Ten points right there. Alright, are over here. Drum roll, please, for our winner. With ten points, we have Alex. Alex, we thank you. So please give it a big round of applause. Oh, you give yourself as well a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Come over here, so Alex, close. and collect so your close. prize. This one is always a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh -huh. Super close. But uh, I didn't win this one. Drop by a bit of the stage show. Princess and the Frog, not a stage show, Funnel Vision. Walk by all this cool stuff out here. We're looking for the foosball. I think it's back this way. Ready for it? Thank you. No part of the plan. Thank you. No, 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 no. You, you cannot have this. Nope. No for you. No for you. Oh, yeah? Let me show you the true power. Oh, you knew this had a slant, huh? Nice. No. See you no. on the other side. No. Point. Go. Hope you're ready. Get crushed. No. Crushing. Whoa. Two to one. See ya. See ya. Three to one. Are you serious? No. Five. Two one. This table's ready. Five. Oh. Yes. Are you kidding me? Finally. You wish to suffer my wrath? I shall no. show you my wrath. You score goals on yourself. <laughs> that is my wrath. Bing. It went out. So strong, it went out the other side. One more point that. until Come victory. Four to nine. You messed this one up. No. GG. No. Thanks for playing. Until next no. time. Dada. Have a magical day. See you. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go. No, ten. Two, three. Uh, ten to five. Nice job. All right, ten now five. we're switching sides. Switch to the sides. Okay. What? One to zero. One and two zero. Come on. Oh, come on. Pass upfield. Upfield. Upfield, you go. Yes. Oh. Target about. Get out of here. Upfield. Go, soccer players. Yeah. What's there? No. Yeah. Two to one. Two to one. Two to one, Mike. No. Yes, it is. No. Two. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Two, 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 two. I'm gonna beat you even more than I did last time because of that. No. Oh. No. Do you think so? I think so. Three to three. Three to three. Three to three. Boom. No. Woo. Four to three. He's in the goal. lead. No. Bye. <laughs> Have a magical time. No. Thank you! No! no. Yes. Get out of here. As you saw, I was about to beat Mike again. Just kidding. We were having a great game, and now it's windy and rainy. We're running inside to change for formal night. We'll, we'll get back to the game another time. But uh, good stuff, fun stuff. Back there, bye. Mini golf. Yeah, see a little bit of rainbow. Rainbow, you can see some rain, some cloudy skies. Definitely uh, signals you that's gonna be coming in. Okay, we are dressed to the mics. I mean, to the nines for tonight's formal night. And we are changed for formal night, heading up the stairs to get some awesome pictures. Let's check it out. Mikey, if it's quite all right, let's cruise it, Mikey. Until the longest night. We had an awesome time getting some pictures, got some pictures of the captain, got some pictures of that white background, some drinks here to check out as well. See some of those, they're walking by with some of those. And we're off now to get some other pictures, the cruise background and other cool stuff like that. So lots of nice stuff to do on captain's night 
formality, I feel like, just depends on what you're feeling. You know, we've got people, most people are wearing something semi-formal at least. They might be on the upper middle side. There's a few ties out there. The whole I've seen tuxes. There are ties and tuxes, but majority, like tell me if I'm wrong, the majority is no jacket. That's true. Okay. So that, that qualifies us I guess as middle, upper, 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 upper middle. middle. Thank right you. Right in the middle, right in the middle. No, I don't know about upper. Let's look at, here, you tell us, you tell us. You see a variety of different people. What seems to be the, uh, the average consensus? Let us know. We got most of the shots here, one more left. Let's uh let's check it out. How's it going? You gotta go kind of center, right? We took a couple of final pictures. There were a few more to get, including the stairs. And now we are going to check out the ventriloquist. Looking forward to it. Just finished the ventriloquist act downstairs. It was pretty funny. It was pretty entertaining. Definitely uh, positive, worth checking out, if that's your sort of thing. Now we are in line with some snacks mm. at Vista Cafe Yum. to meet Mr. Mickey Mouse. The one and only. The one and only. So we got several more pictures and now we are heading off to dinner. It is about that time. Let's do it. Yum. Love the enchanted garden feel. You know, I'd forgotten about it. I feel like it is one of the most, you know, immersive, luxurious, fantastic vibes here. Really, really like it. So much to see. I'm looking forward to this menu. Yes. And look at this menu right here. Enchanted garden menu. We've got a variety of fantastic looking options. You know I gotta get an ahi, tuna, and avocado tower. At, at least two of them. I love that one. Been saving up for that one. So, so ready. Let's do it. Let's eat it. For bread, we had a couple of different options. The multigrain and the current bread. I always like fruit infused in my bread. So, consider trying that current bread. The... Some sort of current bread, but it was great. So give that one, give that one a shot. The garlic sauce, garlic chickpea sauce that went with the bread was pretty good too. So that's worth a try. Overall, bread is great, but we're loving the vibe here. And the seating's fantastic for us. We are uh, definitely, definitely feeling great right here, ready for those two, two tuna towers each. Yes. And we have our ahi tuna towers here. I remember them being taller. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy here. I might be crazy. I remember them being a little bit taller. You can uh, maybe just see that. I'm trying not to spill the soy sauce. So uh, maybe I'll move the camera. And we have one lobster ravioli as well. And just to show you what the tower looks like here, ahi tuna and avocado tower. It looks really good. And uh, it's a little smaller than I remember. Again, maybe that size normally. But looking forward to giving it a shot. I'm sure it's going to be just as delicious. 
Boom. Boom. Boom is right. Boom is right. This is this is still the best. Still number one of all cruise foods I've had. I'm thinking about that. Is that overstep? No, that's right. Of all the cruise food I've had, this is number one. I haven't been to Palo, so this is number one. I so love this ahi tuna avocado chop. So good. I, I almost feel like it's even better than I remember. Amazing, amazing. We're so excited to get it again. It has lived up to that hype. If you like sushi, that sort of thing, tuna avocado tower, do it. Number one recommendation here, get that tower. So it sounds like Mike and I are in agreement. The lobster ravioli is great. Really, really good. And I would get it again as an appetizer if it weren't competing with the ahi tuna tower. Seeing as it's competing against the Ahi Tuna Tower, I'll just forget about it and get two, three, four Ahi Tuna Towers and just eat that. I might even say this about the entree. Just get the Ahi Tuna Tower instead. We'll see what happens when I get the entree, but man, do I love that Ahi Tuna Tower. So good. We both do. And we've got the main horses here. The sea bass, our server was kind enough to bring to us. Looks very, very good. And we both have scallops as well. Really looking forward to giving it a shot. They look fantastic. Let's try it. We have two fantastic entrees here. The sea bass is extremely smooth, very buttery, just kind of falls onto the fork, if you will, or off the fork. Very easy to cut, just fantastically cooked. You know, that's really what makes the sea bass, is how it's cooked. Now we have the scallops here as well. Scallops are really, really good. There are no Alani scallops, but they are very good. The flavors are very, very nice. I do like the flavors to it. It could be maybe a little bit softer. It could fall off the rest of the scallop a little bit easier. But both of these are fantastic. Both of them I could see getting again. Depends on your preferred flavors. I like scallops a lot. So I'd probably get these scallops first again. Just again because I like that flavor. But they're both really, really good choices here. Now assessing the sides that come with the scallop. That rice, onion type dish in the middle. Not my favorite part. But the scallops are definitely worthwhile. You can always try it and see what you think. It's kind of rice sort of bed for that onion thing in the middle. It's all right, the asparagus is, is good too, but the scallops are really the, the main force of that one, and they are quite good. We've got three desserts here at the Enchanted Gardens. The date pudding, the pecan tart, and the chocolate torch. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. These desserts are all so, so good. Pecan tart, I think is number one for both of us, but it's a close, close race. That one's got a little bit of caramel flavor to it. It's really smooth. Fantastic, love it. The date pudding, oh my gosh. Sort of falls off the fork there as well. Just caramely, sort of on the side. Almost like a cupcake, love it. And then that chocolate torch, like a dense chocolate sort of coffee flavor to it. So, so good. All of them are fantastic. You cannot lose here at Enchanted Garden. Love it. Leaving Enchanted Garden now, absolutely fantastic meal. Mike, what'd you think? Loved every bite. All of it was fantastic. Appetizers, probably my number one that tuna tower, but it was all so, so good. Desserts were amazing. Everything. By far the best food we've had so far on the cruise? No doubt. You know it for sure. Absolutely loved it all, sharing it all with you. We are gonna call it a night now, wrapping up around 10 p.m.-ish from dinner. Lots of time enjoying our food. Thanks for being a part of the fun with us. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for more fun, family-friendly adventures. Until next time. Have a magical day. And play on. We'll see you soon. We made a quick stop off at the Port Adventures desk to look into those cruise ships, but no, uh, what am I even talking cruise about? Cruise ships, Tim is tired. Cruise ships. We checked by the snacks at Cape Cove Cafe. Good night. What? Good night, good night. We checked out the, oh my gosh. Just finished the stage show downstairs. The, what do you even call that? Ventriloquist. Ventriloquist, ventriloquist.